Hi everybody, it's Miss Annie from the Wakefield Library and we're back for another virtual story time. I'm really excited to share these books with you today. I'm thinking about silly stories and I'm thinking about sweet stories too. So I wanted to pick one of each to share with you. Our first one is a pretty silly story. This one's called Dexter Bexley and the Big Blue Beastie on the Road by Joel Stewart and we are reading this one with permission from Holiday House Publishing. And our sweet story for today, I picked Geraldine's Blanket by Holly Keller, and we're going to be reading this one with permission from HarperCollins Children's Books. Now, after we read our stories, we're going to sing some songs together, and then I'll do a little craft at the end as well, if you want to do that with me. Uh, today, we're going to be making kazoos. <laughs> Lots of fun. And for those, you're going to need a toilet paper roll. Should be fairly easy to find at home now. <laughs> a piece of wax paper. You will need a rubber band and you're going to need a pair of scissors. And I'll go over how to make these at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're going to begin as we usually do with our song Hello Friends and we're going to use a little bit of American Sign Language as we sing this. Ready? Hello friends. Hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. So before we start with our books, I always like to do something before we start that. Do you remember what it is? I like to wake up our different body parts. And let's start with our hands. We'll wake them up with a clap, clap, clap. Ready? We wake up our hands with a clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. We wake up our hands with a clap, clap, clap. And we wiggle our waggles away. We wake up our shoulders with a shrug, shrug, shrug. Shrug, shrug, shrug. Shrug, 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 we wake up our shoulders with a shrug, 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 and we wiggle our waggles away. We wake up our knees with a march, 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 march. We wake up our knees with a march, 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 and we wiggle our waggles away. Great job. So I am definitely feeling nice and awake and ready for some stories now. How's that sound? So for our first one, we are reading Dexter Bexley and the Big Blue Beastie on the Road. This one was written and illustrated by Joel Stewart. And once again, we are reading this one with permission from Holiday House Publishing. So let me move up here so you can see these great pictures nice and close. Dexter Bexley and the Big Blue Beastie hooted and hooted until, what happened? They're blowing their horns and someone yells, quiet up there. I can't be quiet, said Dexter Bexley. I'm not sleepy. And there's so much hooting to do, said the big blue beastie. So they hooted and hooted until, what do you think's gonna happen? Uh-oh. They were thrown out of town. Get out and stay out. Dexter Bexley and the big blue beastie in the deep dark forest. Hmm. What do you think they're gonna do in the forest? <gasps> hooted, hooted and hooted. And someone's seen them hooting. I wonder who this is. You're just what I need, said the tremendously charming Sir Percy Peckett. Come with me to yonder high tower. In yonder high tower gently sleeps my beloved. And I see around the tower it says snore, snore, snore. Who do you think is sleeping in that tower? Do you want me to eat her up? said the big blue beastie. No, I want you to wake her up, said the tremendously charming Sir Percy Peckett. 
And look, we see all of those snore, snore, snores coming out of the tower. And Prince Pursley says, I've been trying since Tuesday. I sang her a song and she's been asleep ever since. Dexter Bexley and the Big Blue Beastie hooted, hooted, and hooted until, oh, they did a good job hooting. Look who's awake. What lovely hooting, said Princess Filipina. Dexter Bexley and the Big Blue Beastie and Princess Filipina all hooted together until is it time for our wedding yet asked the tremendously charming sir percy peckett what's percy and his squire doing what are they doing looks like they're covering their ears i don't think they like the hooting so much well, let's find out if anyone else likes their hooting have you slain that frightful dragon asked princess philippina well no, I've been a bit busy. We're not busy, said Dexter Bexley. Dexter Bexley and the Big Blue Beastie and Princess Filipina went to slay the frightful dragon. But the dragon says, and look, he has a smile, and he says, visitors, how lovely. But the frightful dragon wasn't really frightful after all. So Dexter Bexley and the Big Blue Beastie and Princess Filipina taught him how to tap dance. Look at his little toes going. Tap, 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 tap. Can you do that with your toes? Tap, 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 tap. The frightful dragon had talent. You're a natural, said the Big Blue Beastie. Dexter Bexley and the Big Blue Beastie and Princess Filipina and the Frightful Dragon became wandering players. So look, they're playing their music. The Frightful Dragon is tap dancing. And look, they were a hit. Everybody liked it. You're naturals, said the king and the queen and all the king and queen's advisors. They're enjoying the hooting. Dexter Bexley and the Big Blue Beastie and Princess Filipina and the Frightful Dragon wandered, they're wandering, and played, and sang la, and told tall tales from one end of the kingdom to the other. Then they wandered and played and sang and told tall tales all the way back. And they're singing, my hat, it has three corners, three corners has my hat. Until they stood at the frightful dragon's front door. I can't seem to stop hooting, said Dexter Bexley. Me neither, said the big blue beastie. And I can't stop tapping, said the frightful dragon. Tap, 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 tap. Well, I can't stop singing, said Princess Filipina. La! And we've been doing the same song for days. Luckily, the tremendously charming Sir Percy Peckett arrived and sang the song he'd sung for Princess Filipina on Tuesday. And he's singing, rock a -bye, baby on the treetop. It was a beautiful lullaby. What do you think will happen? Dexter Bexley and the Big Blue Beastie and Princess Filipina and the Frightful Dragon stopped to listen. Then they yawned and stretched and fell wonderfully, silently asleep. They're all sleeping and Sir Percy says, Phew! Until... Snore, 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 snore. And Sir Percy calls, quiet over there. 
And that's Dexter Bexley and the Big Blue Beastie. That one's pretty silly, huh? So before we read our next book, let's get some of our wiggles out real quickly. Can you follow the actions that I do? Ready? I wiggle my fingers. And I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my shoulders. And I wiggle my nose. Now all the wiggles are out of me and I'm as still as still can be. So our next book, we're gonna read Geraldine's Blanket. And this one is by Holly Keller. And we are reading this again with permission from HarperCollins Children's Books. Geraldine's Blanket. This is a very old copy that I had when I was very little. And I always loved this story. Geraldine had a pink blanket. Aunt Bessie sent it when Geraldine was a little baby. To Geraldine from Auntie Bessie. And Mama put it in her crib. Even when she got bigger, Geraldine loved her blanket. She took it with her everywhere. Where is she now with her blanket? On the swing, maybe at home, maybe at the park. You won't need your blanket at the market, said Mama. I will, Geraldine insisted, and she always found a use for it. What's she using her blanket for now? It looks like she's using it like a bag to carry her vegetables at the market. When the blanket got dirty, Geraldine helped wash it. Scrub, scrub, scrub. When there were holes, Mama covered them with patches, stitching it up. And when the edges were all frayed, Mama trimmed them. Snip, snip, snip. But Geraldine only loved it more. There's hardly any blanket left, Papa said. He was getting cross. Geraldine covered her ears. It looks silly, Mama said. Then don't look at me, Geraldine said, stamping her foot. Humph. Mama tried to hide the blanket in the closet. But what happened? Geraldine found it right away. She kept it pinned to her dress all day and tucked it under her pillow at night. She's keeping that blanket nice and close. Mama and Papa talked in whispers. And at Christmas, there was a new present from Aunt Bessie. What do you think this present will be? What do you think is in the green box from Aunt Bessie? Let's find out. What does she have? A little piggy like her, a little doll. The doll's name was Rosa and Geraldine loved her. But I still want my blanket, she said. No, sit Papa said. No, Mama agreed. Hmm, what will Geraldine do? <gasps> Geraldine knew what to do. So what's she getting? She's in her drawer. I see scissors. I see some needles and thread in there. Maybe she's gonna sew something. She's cutting the blanket and we have Rosa the doll. Hmm, what's she gonna do with that blanket? There, she said when she had finally finished. Now Rosa has the blanket and I have Rosa. What did she turn the blanket into? Looks like a dress for her doll Rosa. Mama didn't know what to say. Papa scratched his head. Hmm. And Geraldine took Rosa 
out to play. So she has Rosa the doll and her special blanket is still with her. And I always liked that book because I had my own blanket when I was a little kid. Do you have a special blanket or a stuffed animal or a toy that you like to bring with you? It's always fun to have something special, right? Like that. So those are our books for the day. So how about we do a couple of songs and rhymes together? Sound good? For our first one, we'll do Hickory Dickory Dock. Can you follow my actions when I do this? Ready? Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, bong. The mouse ran down, hickory dickory dock. Now I thought it might be fun to do a couple more verses to this and you can use your hands like I used or maybe you have a special blanket or a toy or maybe a special stuffed animal that you wanna do it with. I brought my special stuffed animal this is Alan Bear. Say hi, Alan. Hi, Alan. So he's going to help me with this one. So you can use a toy if you want to, or maybe a teddy bear, or you can use your hands. Ready? This one's going to be a little bit different. Hickory dickory dare, the toys went up in the air. Then Farmer Brown brought them down. Hickory dickory dare. Hickory dickory down, the toys sat on the ground. Then Farmer Bup picked them up. Hickory dickory down, hickory dickory diggle, the toys began to wiggle. Then Farmer Bop made them stop. Hickory dickory diggle, hickory dickory dack, the toys hid behind our backs. Then Farmer Black said, come on back. <gasps> Hickory dickory deck. Good job. So I'm going to put Alan Bear down for this next song, but if you brought a toy out for this, you can keep holding it if you want, and maybe it can do a little dance to our next one. So we'll say bye, Alan. Bye, Alan. So the next one we're going to do is Five Elephants in the Bathtub. I like this one because it's pretty silly. Have you ever seen an elephant in the bathtub? I've never seen an elephant in my bathtub. So for this song, we're gonna need five elephants. So can you help me count out five elephants? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, we have all of our elephants now, so we can do five elephants in the bathtub. Ready? Five elephants in the bathtub, going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash, come on in. Whoosh. Four elephants in the bathtub, going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash, come on in. Whoosh. Three elephants in the bathtub, going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash, come on in. Whoosh. Just two now. Two elephants in the bathtub, going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash, come on in. Whoosh. Last elephant. One elephant in the bathtub, Going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash. They all went in. Whoosh. Good job. That's got to be a pretty big bathtub to fit all of those elephants in it, huh? Five elephants in one bathtub? It's a big bathtub. So for our last one before we do our goodbye song, let's do Roly Poly. I like this one because it lets me use my hands a little bit and it helps me remember opposites. Ready? Get our hands ready. Roly poly, roly poly, up, 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 up. Roly, roly poly, roly, roly poly, down, 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 down. 
Roly poly, roly poly, big, 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 big. Roly roly poly, roly roly poly, small, 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 small. Roly poly, roly poly, fast, 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 fast. Roly roly poly, roly roly poly. Slow, 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 slow. <laughs> Good job, that was fun. So before we move on to our craft, let's sing goodbye friends together. This one is just like the song we sing at the beginning, hello friends, but this time we're gonna be saying goodbye instead. And we'll use our American Sign Language again for this one. Ready? Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, it's time to say goodbye. Excellent job! So if you'd like to enjoy a craft with us today, I'll show you how to do this. So again, we're gonna make kazoos. I picked these out because they reminded me of all of that hooting that Dexter Bexley and his friends are doing. <laughs> I think he would really like to have a kazoo. What do you think? All right, excellent. So you can see how it's gonna look here. So the first thing you'll wanna do is take your toilet paper roll and you're gonna wanna cut a little hole. I made one like a diamond in the middle of it. You'll use your scissors for this. You might want an adult to help out here because this can be a little bit tricky. And then after we have the hole cut, we're gonna take our piece of wax paper and we're gonna cover one end of the toilet paper roll. I'm gonna hold it down. And then I'm gonna take my stretchy rubber band and I'm just gonna wrap it around the wax paper nice and easy and now I have my kazoo so let's try it out I think it's working and that's how you make a kazoo thank you so much for joining me for story time this week I had a great time with you and I'm excited to see you again next week I'll see you later everybody bye <laughs>